Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Horlucha. Now Horlucha has been a very good Pokemon because it has very good speed and fairly good attack and it also has access to things like Unburden which is just really really good. It has access to Sword Stance and in this generation it's actually been buffed because it gets access to Close Combat as well. So lots and lots of really good uh, moves for Horlucha here and we're going to talk about two generic sets and one Dynamax set. The first set is one of my typicals, it is Swords Dance with a Life Orb. You can run Leftovers if you want to on this, it is an option for you to do. And then we've got Mold Breaker as the ability, meaning that any of your moves aren't affected by other Pokemon's abilities. So if you have, um, I know Levitate isn't going to have an effect, but Levitate Pokemon, a Wonder Guard Shininja, um, but again, you wouldn't necessarily have the impact on here. But just those are a couple of abilities that I can think of that can have an effect. So yeah, obviously do consider um, options here. You can raise up your attack, you can double it from 283 to 566 I believe, which is a very very high attack stat after one sword stance. Normally you will be able to heal here as well, so you've got access to things like Drain Punch allowing to heal yourself up and also Roost as well, uh, although I think Roost is a transfer move so do be cautious of that. And yeah, so the idea here, use sword stance and then use one of your free moves, you've got close combat, powerful fighter type attack, uh, boosted by Stab, Drain Punch, again, powerful fighting type attack and gives you that health back. And Brave Bird, which is a powerful flying type attack, um, so can hit a variety of Pokemon. But it does have the drawback of you losing some health, along with the Life Orb drawback of you losing health, so do be very, very cautious. Maybe have a Wish Pokemon in the back, or as I said, have Roost on the set. EV's gone for Max Attack and Max Speed with Jolly Nature, so more speed and less special attack, and four EV's in Special Defense. You can run... Um, Adamant if you wish to, but I think Jolly will work to make sure that you are a very fast Pokemon, especially as you're using Swords Dance, so that, that little boost isn't necessarily needed, but it's up to you what you decide to do. The second Horlucha set is um, looking at Sky Attack on here. Now, I've looked at this more in a kind of recommended set, and actually I really liked it. So we have the Power Herb here, which will allow for you to attack on the same turn that you set up your Sky Attack, uh, meaning that you don't have to waste the turn and potentially get hit. But the better thing about this is it activates your Unburden, allowing you to double your speed, which is huge, absolutely huge. Makes you very, very fast. I mean, you've got 335 speed here. That takes you to 670. You're going to be outspeeding everything unless it's Unburden itself. Move-wise, I've put Close Combat, I've put Roost on here as well to make sure that you're allowing yourself to heal up. And I also put Acrobatics. Realistically, you're not going to use Sky Attack more than once unless you Dynamax, but um, using Acrobatics can be beneficial for you because you've lost your item, it's doubled in power, so that is an option there. Now, Eevee's gone for Max Attack, add Max Speed with an Adamant Nature, some more Attack, less Special Attack, and four Eevees in Special Defense. So, as you're doubling your speed, you do not need to worry about the Jolly Nature. In fact, you probably don't even need to invest into your speed if you're going for this. Um, you could run max HP, max attack, and that will give you a little bit more bulk. So it's an option for you to run. Obviously, decide what you want to go for because different uh, models will fit different teams. Finally, we have the Dynamax set. Now, this is an interesting Pokemon, an interesting set, sorry, because we've got a Choice Band. Now, Choice Band allows for your attack power to be 1.5 times, and when you're di Sorry, and locked into a move. When you're Dynamax, this is not happening. So, yeah, you have less to worry about when you're Dynamax. And you can use a combination of Brave Bird and Close Combat. So Brave Bird turns to Max Airstream, raises your speed. And Close Combat raises your um, attack, which they're both very, very good. You've then got Poison Jab to hit things like Fairy types because they are very, very common. And then Stone Age to hit things like Flying types because, again, they're super effective against you. Eevee-wise, gone for max attack and max speed. Jolly Nature, so more speed, less special attack. You can always run the Adamant Nature if you wish to, but that is up to you. I haven't made this set, but I do want to speak to you quickly about another set. You can run either an Electric Seed, or a Misty Seed, or a Psychic Seed. I think that's what they're called. But there's specific seeds that go off when the terrain is set up. So if you had, for example, a um, Glaring Weezing with... Uh, Misty Surge, it will set up the uh, fairy the, the fairy terrain, Misty Terrain, so if you have the Misty Seed on you, it will then activate, 
raising, I believe, your special defense by one stage. It might be a defense. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. But that also activates your unburden, so you can naturally activate that very quickly. And yeah, that's an option for you to run, but I just didn't put that in because that requires you having specific other Pokemon. Um, it, I know it was a very common to have uh, Tabu Coco and Horlucha together uh, because of the uh, electric terrain. That is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out there. So it's a good one, and I'll see you soon.